Hi everyone, Rachel here from Déjà Vu Thrifting. Welcome back to my channel. If you're a new viewer, I go to garage sales, estate sales, and thrift stores, and I purchase things that I flip online on eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark. Now, today, uh, we are going to go to uh, Posh estate sale and we're going to a uh, local garage sales so before we go to the estate sale I just want to explain that um, because the condo corporation uh, did not allow them to have a whole bunch of people waiting in line um, it was by appointment so I was lucky when I got the email notification of that sale I went right away and guess what? I got the first appointment, 4 p.m. on a Thursday evening. I had the place to myself, except the two or three people taking care of the sale. But I was, I had half an hour to shop all by myself in that. So it was fantastic. So I had first crack for everything. So let's go see what I got. Allons-y. Yeah, exactly. Come on. Oh, okay. I'm gonna unlock this. Yeah, yeah, it's very I big. Ah, there we go. I saw that on the photos. So I'm going to grab this. Is there anything else here? Yes, I'm here. Very nice. Sorry. Well, I thought it would be the best thing to do. So I'm putting on the chair what I'd like to have. It's $22, but it's Murano. Very tempted. It's this one. Oh, the pontoon mark is not smooth, so I'm not quite sure about that. And then, yeah. All right, so here we take it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's nice. Oh, you're really $10 each. In the fridge, eh? Oh, look at the glass can open. Oh, that's never happened before. Okay, cool. Wow. Things are happening. Isn't that the prettiest that little box? That is so nice. I thought that was so pretty. Like, I think that's from, like, way, like, the 40s or 50s. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, 60s. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I just thought it was so pretty. Wow. I'm she very had some tempted. Beautiful, yes. So when I got the email, you also have a link to go see some preview pictures, and I, I saw these on the picture, and I knew uh, that they were in the, in the uh, kitchen, so I just bolted <laughs> to the kitchen, and uh, sure enough, they were there because I was the first one there. So look at this. These are Mozart candles, and they are very collectible. Um, Yet I have to meet someone who's actually burning them. But when you do, when you do burn them, this is what it looks like. It's absolutely lovely. These are new in box, and I, the box is not taped, so I'll just take the cover off. But look at the condition of these. Not one mark. Absolutely fantastic. So I, uh, in the past, have sold some green ones and some uh, kind of aqua blue um, pair, and they both went for between $25 and $30. I know that the red ones uh, are more popular as far as production-wise. They made more, but these type of colors, they go around $30. So that was a very nice pickup for $5. Then you saw me quickly uh, grab this uh, little piano. Now, this is definitely an impulse buy. <laughs> I know nothing about these, um, but it was $4, and it was encased in here, uh, this little box. Let me just open this up. Hello. There we go. And uh, it's a little, I, I, yeah, it's glass. It's a little glass piano with some gold details, filigree, uh, grand piano, and uh, absolutely lovely. I looked for a company name or some sort of a pamphlet, and there's nothing. So I will have to do a little bit more research about uh, this one. Um, but like I said, I saw it, I grabbed it, and that was it. 
I just did it. So you saw me grab that Murano dish. It was lovely. And I was contemplating purchasing it, but $22, I'm not sure. You know, I don't usually pay that much uh, when I see Murano. So I wasn't ready to pay that much for uh, that uh, Murano dish. But... I got this and I paid up like I paid $25 for it but look at this it's beautiful dates probably from the 50s or 60s it is in marvelous condition there's no uh, pulls on the beautiful brocade fabric it's gold with some kind of fan patterns and when you open it up beautiful red velvet with a mirror in superb condition absolutely lovely has uh, feet underneath is in very nice condition too um, i have yet to find um, one exactly the same online i kind of quickly looked ran out of time a little bit this week uh, but i couldn't find uh, one exactly the same so i'm gonna give okay, you this i'll take a dog. look 18 dollars for the set here. Hmm. Oh, it's a Mark Sold? Is that what it is? No, no. Oh, okay. No, no. No, that's all good. Okay, this is, okay. I'm taking my keys off in the apartment key so she doesn't have to hang on to a whole bunch. Uh, I see, I see. Yeah, and I was trying to okay. download my Google Maps and I couldn't find it. Yeah, it's so do you want to hook it on or whatever? Awesome. Okay. okay. So this is the frog to get in. I had a ruby last week and now I have a diamond. Show me which way and this is a sapphire. So look at this beautiful apartment. Sapphire. I can't beautiful. pronounce it. Sapphire. That would be nice. Look at this. Feel this. This is Camarche. Or a beaver. Hmm. Comfortable too. <laughs> that is so cute. And um, she had one of those along in the middle of the Oh, wow. Beautiful linen. And that piano. Do we know about the little handkerchief? Uh, those are, that is from the 60s. No, I mean price wise. Oh, do you this, know? This would be four. Okay. And this one, because they were. Oh, so yes, yes, five, yes. Because that's still okay. okay. I like this one. Yeah, it's very, it's very, very pretty. It's very yeah. so pretty. Very pretty. I, like, I think um, yeah. stars will make a comeback. Uh, yeah. You know, because they're so and, beautiful styles. And hats, I'm being told, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a little jewel piece missing here. This baby up in here. Whoa. $6. That is cobalt. And then I saw this. I wish there would have been more. There was only this one, but it is absolutely beautiful little handkerchief with uh, leaf brown leaf patterns semi sheer absolutely lovely it's about 14 inch by 14 inch and uh, I think she quoted me four but I ended up paying three for it so I was very happy so like I mentioned last week um, in the video cobalt glass is coming back in style and I'm very pleased about that because we can find uh, some good cobalt glass items at thrift stores and garage sales. So I was very happy to see this at that estate sale. They are uh, silver plated and they each have this cobalt blue glass insert container dish. <laughs> I don't know what to call it because I'm not quite sure what they are for. There's two of them. There's no lid. There's no spoons. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be for compote or for jam or condiment. Back in the days, um, they are tarnished 
and they do have this filigree that you can see the blue glass through it. What I would use them for, I don't have one with me, is for tea lights. I would put tea lights in that. I'm sure by putting a light here, the blue would come through uh, quite nicely through uh, the holes. Now, this is made in England, and it does say at the bottom, I want to try to show it to you here. Eh, can you see it? ESPN. Now, ESPN means electroplated nickel silver. So that's what this is, and cobalt blue glass. So I haven't decided if I will sell them as a pair, and if it's for tea light, that would actually look very nice, like on the mantle or a uh, nice arrangement in the middle of the dining room table with flowers and other kinds of candles. It would be something very uh, classy, I should say. So um, I'm not sure exactly what the price will be. I will we'll research a little more. Like I said earlier, I ran out of time this week, but at $6 each, I thought that was a really nice pickup. Hi there. Hello. You are a special oh, okay. tool. Yeah. To okay, because I was going to say, if you saw people coming from the other sale, they might be walking. Exactly. Is and it then, uh, how am I going to know who are your apartment people? Appointment people, I mean. People do sell them, I'm not sure about that. You realize she's here till eight o'clock. Twelve dollars for the pair. Wish it was the whole the whole set though. Okay, all right. So you can go to the other sale. Okay, five dollars, five dollars. Okay. I think I'm good with kitchen stuff. Oh, let's not forget this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, Jeff. So, I've got this right awesome. here. So, I went back in the kitchen once I got my candles. Whew, the pressure went down. 
So I went back in the kitchen, and then I look a little bit more closely at some of the things that were there, and this. I actually picked that up, yes. Um, there's a lot of them online, but they're not all in the condition that this one is. I don't even know if it was used. It is the Corningware uh, cornflower um, model. It is for six cups, it says right there. And look at the condition. There's no scratches underneath, on top, even the metal. It's absolutely fantastic. So for $8, I think that's a good investment because I'm pretty sure that I can have, a, you know, close to 30, maybe even a little more. Hey. Yes, <laughs> I'm fancy. Jackets, $10. Oh, the electric chair I see is so... Do we know about the scarves, what the prices are for scarves? Uh, scarves, she's got one in here, it says $3 unless otherwise marked. Oh, this is nice. Very vintage-like, I like that. That's quite different. Let's take a closer look at this one. Oh, it has fringes. I'm trying to see the size of it. Okay, here we go. It's a nice long one. Very different. Wow. And green and pink, you don't see that very often. So, $3, I will pick that up. Oh, that looks nice and cozy. Cozy La Vie en Rose, yeah, that is a um, nice brand. It's clean. I don't know how much the clothes are. Does it say something? Oh, clothing, here we go. Jacket, purse, gloves, dresses, unless marked. So I guess they consider that a jacket. That would be like $10. Yeah, no. For yourself, yeah, but not for resale little tops I think let's look inside let's see what it says made in what Italy made in Italy so it's a double, okay, double chain. I would think, I would think that is vintage. So purses are eight dollars. No, it's too much. Let me look at that again. Oh, I didn't look on this side. Oops. Okay. Ooh. Wigs. There's more. There's, oh man, that piano. Oh. Isn't that something? Oh my God. That is such a pretty color. And, and I mean, look at the shine on this. Yeah. It's absolutely stunning. Yeah. That's what wow. we were saying. We're like, oh my gosh. And I like the unique color. 2,500 baby grand, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. So this is the scarf that I picked up. And I thought it was really, really nice. I don't know if it's handmade or not, but I just like the different design. Let's just be frank. This is not something that will keep you warm. This is really um, an accessory, a fashion statement, if you will. And um, there's some uh, fringes at the end. I just love the way that it's made. And I'd say that it's about 60 inches long at least. So um, yeah, perfect for the fall. So that was it for the uh, estate sale. My total uh, was $60 even. Now let's go to that garage sale. Genius is my superpower. <laughs> Big bro. Cute. Oh, cute. Okay. I'll look at this first. Oh, 
party like. <laughs> Lots to look at. So we'll check this out here. Oops. There you go. Ooh, I like this face here. It's really nice. I don't know if you can see all the shimmering. I wonder if they're in this face. I don't seem to have any chips or anything. I'll ask how much she wants for that. Oh. Something else here. Interesting. It's a copper rose. Bonjour. Bonjour, vous parlez français? Oui, oui ok. C'est bon, hein? C'est oui, très... une qui fait ça, là. Ah oui? Si c'est une maman, tu ne vas pas vendre ça. Ah oui, <rire> c'est vraiment bon. Pas. Comme lui, il est super bon de travailler avec ses mains. Comme... Oui. Je te laisse ça, un dollar. Un dollar, puis le vase, lui? Deux dollars pour les deux. Ok, je vais prendre parfait. ça, c'est certain. Euh, je ne sais pas si on peut le mettre. Je te parce... une petite pile. Oh, oui, donc, parce que ça, ça se peut que j'achète. Oh! Excellent. Wow! Oui, ça, c'était un cadeau pour ma soeur. Si? Oui. C'est pas un vrai, par exemple. Ah, c'est pas un comme vrai. Un ah, de Cassonne. Oui, oui, oui. Ça vient, par exemple, comme d'une belle petite boutique. Là. Mais qu'est-ce que tu dis, c'est un empreinte? Il faut que ça soit un empreinte d'un vrai. vrai. Oui, mais c'est pas comme. Oui, 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 non, c'est pas. Oui, 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 c'est man-made. Moi, j'aime ça, je le mets là-dessus. Mais oui, c'est cute. Comment est-ce que tu serais prête à payer ça? Oh mon Dieu, j'ai aucune idée. Tu vois, je ne sais pas combien que tu veux. Moi, j'aime mieux, on met tout ensemble, puis on fait... On regarde après. OK, OK, OK. Si je peux faire un peu de sous... OK, bien, mets les côtés de bord avec moi. Bien, c'est bon. On va voir ça. Parfait. Merci. This, I love. I love. It is hand-blown. It's about 14 or 15 inches high. Beautiful vase. You can see the pontal mark right there and it gives me the impression of leopard i love leopard print and gold and purple <laughs> but um yeah i just love the feel of it the way that the work has been done and i don't know if you can see but you saw in the video there's a lot of shimmer into uh some of the parts um, very, very nicely done. And um, it is presently listed uh, on eBay. Now, I've never seen anything like that. I've seen glass roses, I've seen silver, um, but I've never seen copper. And she was telling me that her uncle actually handmade this. Very, very nice work. And um, it it is obviously top heavy, but um, I'd say it's about 15 inches long. And um, I only paid a dollar for this. And uh, backtrack, I paid $2 for the phase that I showed earlier, and this $1. So that was a really nice find. I'm happy about that too. So this was actually funny. We were going back and forth about this thing. Um, I was undecided and she really wanted to sell that thing and she was telling me that her friend gave that to her and her friend, she pointed her out, her friend was about 20 feet from her. I mean I wouldn't sell something that someone gave me in front of them. But anyway, hey, different strokes for different folks. So this here is not real, it is a molded piece it's made of uh, cement or yeah some some sort of uh, of hard material it is made uh, by artis anna so i guess the name of the uh, artist is anna and it's in castleman ontario here in canada and um yeah i'd say it's about 12 inches very very nicely done and it comes with the uh very pretty stand and to display like this. So um, again, I think I paid $2 for this. 
maybe three. But hey, I'm sure this is going to sell very well. Oh, oh yeah. Bamboo bracelets. Mm -hmm. That's nice too. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. Little drops of water. That's really nice. Most looks like the tree of life. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is silver. Okay, let's take a look at this. Vintage brooch. Oh, this is really cute. Mm. It's another pair, but they're brown. There's a problem with the brakes don't work to put on a chain. It's actually Here's the bike. <sighs> oh, gosh. Spider. I'm totally taking that. So, yes, I picked up a few pieces of jewelry as uh, you saw the um, bamboo bangles uh, have sold very quickly actually and then uh, I got these two pair of earrings both uh, made of shell very nice you can see a little bit of the uh, of the effect here one is shaped as a fan and the other one is uh, shape as uh, just a plain circle the circle one does come with the necklace part uh, uh, pendant so just add a chain and uh, you would have a set so very very nice with those so then I picked up this very nice pendant that says mom and uh, I turned it over and sure enough it is silver it says right there 925 whoops put it in the center maybe here we go. So uh, again, very nice, very small and dainty. That's a nice pickup. Then we jumped into things. <laughs> okay, you all know I've said it a million times. My grandson is obsessed with Halloween and he redecorates his room every day, 365 days a year. Halloween theme. <laughs> anyway, so um, I always like to do things to feed that obsession. <laughs> I'm a bad grandmother. But anyway, um, I got these uh, earrings for myself. They're spiders. And I thought they were just wonderful. So this for me, just to make him laugh. And, and this too. Because he 
loves skeletons. Loves, loves, loves. So this is my Halloween ring, and he's going to love that. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, okay merci. Que j'aime, ouais. Merci. Spiders and glasses. This room is already full of stuff. So then I picked this up uh, because it was different. It's an alligator. It's made of wood. But what I like about him is he's got teeth. I don't know if they're real. No, I don't think so. They look to be made of metal. But nevertheless, it's cool. People do collect uh, animals, whether it's wood, glass, or porcelain. So um, that'll go uh, probably in someone's collection. So that was my treasure hunt for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Comment below. And then I'll see you next Tuesday for another video. Stay safe, everyone. À la prochaine.